Basketball isn't easy. We make it cool to be slow. We make it cool to be slow. Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Miami Heat. And now we send it out to American Airlines Arena. Kevin Clark and Steve are there. Court side, ready for tip-off. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. First for the Spurs. Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. And in the middle, out of Brazil, taking with the 28th pick back in 2008, the 6 11 pivot man, Tiago Sporter. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Duncan in at the power forward position. And for the Heat, Chalmers and D. Wade are the guards. And playing at the five, the always versatile 6 11 star big man, able to score inside and out, Chris Bosch. And it's LeBron James. And it's Haslam in at the four-man position. Well, if you're going to learn from someone, you might as well uh, take some lessons from Tim Duncan. That's what Tiago Splitter has done in San Antonio. Really kind of growing up under the, the tutelage of one of the great players of all time. LeBron against Leonard. LeBron gets to Wade. From 11 feet away, that's good. And Spiller taken 28 by the Spurs way back in 2007. But they had to wait three seasons fight for him to come over from Spain. And as Gray Popovich was saying just this past season, he's finally showing what he can do because he's been healthy. Yeah, agree, Kevin. And I think it was a wait worth making yes. quite honestly i mean one of the premier backup centers in the nba the last three seasons and he earned himself a nice payday with his new contract too and so it's the heat getting on the board first bosh dishes the wave stolen away nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there and here they come leonard with the ball he's picked up by lebron and parker here we go and that one's good well, you know, when they need a big three, he's the guy they look to. He's about as reliable a deep threat as, as you're going to find. And you know, at the end of the day, Steve, you just have to respect his overall defensive acumen. I mean, it's not just one thing he does well at that end. He knows how to guard from A to Z. He's never going to pass up on a chance like that. Even with just a sliver of daylight, this guy can get to the rim. The Heat shooting their first free throw of the game. And you look at the numbers from a year ago, guys. This is a club that hit about 75% of its free throws. That's good. For Miami, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. You know, no denying it's been a heck of a run the last few years for the Heat, but you can't help but wonder if the impending 2014 summer of free agency could be the end of it all. The big three came together in a flash of lightning it seemed, but it could end just as fast if one or all decide to opt out. LeBron drives in, gets it to go. Got three out of four from the floor, so a good start for this ball. And it's the Spurs ball. Trailing by two. And Clark, as you were saying, the trio of LeBron, Wade, and Bosch all have options in their contracts to become free agents in 2014 if they choose to. And Steve, you have to think that at least one or two of them might exercise that right. Well, you know LeBron will because he's the most underpaid athlete in the probably in the history of sports. He's worth ten times what he makes. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see what Miami does here the next couple of years uh, with their roster. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, I was able to speak with Eric Spolster for a moment. With the amount of titles and rings the Spurs have racked up in their careers, Coach admitted it could be a little intimidating playing against them. He said Duncan is an instant Hall of Fame guy, and that can scare teams. We have to be fearless and play just like they are any other team, any other extremely talented team. Easier said than done, guys. Thank you, Doris. 
Parker passes the split. Parker kicks to Green. Chance there to take the lead, missing. The Heat have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. And finished off by the LeBron. A great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away, straight to the rim. San Antonio trailing here. And Mario Chalmers gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And so it's San Antonio with it. Parker outside. Outside Leonard. There's the feed to Splitter. Six to shoot. Parker. From deep three-point range. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Coach Popovich was fine last season for sitting out his top players in a nationally televised matchup against the East. I certainly understand the league's posture there, and there's a lot said about it. Yet, for a veteran team like the Spurs with championship aspirations, I understand resting key players during the course of the regular season. Here's Parker following the score by Miami. Green inside the three-point line. That doesn't go either for Green. Tell you what, he can be really frustrating as a shooter. All you can do is grimace because you just can't find the range. They get a bet. Bosh. Soft touch off the glass. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. Spurs trail by six. And back to that fine for Popovich, a quarter of a million dollars. Steve, that'll leave a dent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But, you know, Popovich enjoys tweaking the league at times. Uh, this was clearly an effort to do that. But, uh, look, I think it's it's good for him to, to actually, you know, kind of let the league know every once in a while that if you're going to give us that kind of schedule with my older team, I'm, you know, I'm going to sit them down once in a while. Here's Bosch following the score by Tony Park. Out to Wade. LeBron outside. The three. LeBron's got 11 points. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something, you're right. He had his choice of finishing moves there, and you just gotta love the fact he went old school with the finger up. Here's Chalmers following the score by Tony Parker. Come on, Parker. Now Chalmers. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Tipped away. Bosch defended by Splitter. Shots good by Bosch. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. Dishes it to Parker. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Can you hear the, the crowd kind of murmuring? I don't think they agreed with the officials on that one. Steve, I tell you what, they're really letting them have it. The Spurs making a switch here. Diaz checked in. Diaz with the steal. Green with the ball. He passes to Leonard. And Shane Badia gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Matt Bonner, he's checked in for Tim Duncan. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. The drive by Green and stolen by Chalmers. In transition, here comes Miami. Bosch inside. He's guarded by Diaw. Bosch can't get it to go. Spurs trail by five. You know, Miami went to that smaller lineup last season, and a big change in that was having Chris Bosch move over to the five spot. Not his natural position, but I thought he held his own both offensively and defensively playing in the middle. Now here's Wade. LeBron, he's covered by Leonard. 
that is good. And that's 13 points for LeBron. He is just tearing it up this court. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. And for Bosch, playing the center, Steve, he, he's giving up some weight out there. But he's a very smart defender. He avoids fouls. And you know, the way the league is these days, Kevin, most teams play smaller. And Bosch can normally find a, a center that he can guard without too much trouble. But there are a few matchups around the league that are a problem. Well, we got the speed and the pressure of that Miami defense. And you, you think they're able to compensate for the lack of size inside by using those other things. Yeah, that's normally the case against, I would say, the, the vast majority of the league. Mm -hmm. And here is Parker after LeBron James hitting the three. Good. And that's now 10 points for Tony Parker. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. Parker against Chalmers. Passes to Batty. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Parker against Bosch. Parker outside. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Parker's got 12 points in the game. No matter what the score is, his attitude has been perfect. I love his disposition. He has stayed in attack mode. LeBron kicks to Bosch. In the attempt to finish it off by the beauty. Well, now they're just going to town. Yeah, you think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin, but so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Green, no luck. Nice early advantage for them on the glass, guys. You know, part of rebounding well early is just going after the ball and boxing out. I mean, establishing that tone so that you can maintain it later in the game. Now, here's Green. Parker outside. Parker, right side. Tim drop shot. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. LeBron is running. Wade outside. Shoots a three. Can't get it to go. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Parker up top. Defended by Chalmers. Look from Green. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. Guys, you go back to the shortened season a year before last, and the Spurs were the best team on the road. But last year, they weren't nearly as dominant on the road. Still solid when leaving San Antonio, but far from the level they played at a couple of seasons ago. Parker gets to Leonard. There's the dish to Bonner. Sinks that one from the post. Miami calls their first time out of the game. And for the Spurs on the road last season, they would still win 23 games in hostile territory. And while that is more than the 22, Steve, they won in the shortened season, they also lost a, a fair amount more as well. Well, for the Spurs, Kevin, I think they did what they needed to do. You, you, you know, the Spurs manage the regular season. They know when to turn it on and when they can maybe relax a little bit. But the big thing is they just want to stay near 500 on the road, protect their home court, and be healthy going into the playoffs, and that, that puts them in a good position. And so it's San Antonio with it. After the miss from Anderson. Diaw can't hit. Ball stolen. Kicks to Parker. Ginobili, Ginobili, Ginobili. Draw off the pick from Bellinelli. It's Ginobili outside.